A final decision today on a controversial proposal to ban short-term vacation rentals in most residential neighborhoods on Oahu. KITV Force Kristen Concilio joins us live tonight after speaking with both supporters and opponents of the bill. Kristen. Mika, there were more than 100 testifiers today at the Honolulu City Council making last-ditch efforts to sway the council decision. And in the end, the vote was 8-1 to one to pass the bill. Many residents gave heartfelt arguments both for and against short-term vacation rentals across Oahu. Some claim the rentals are helping families struggling to make ends meet, while others contend it's actually making life harder for local residents. I think the Airbnb concept is very important for a well-diversified and healthy economy because it does offer the possibility for individuals uh, that can have additional income and rather than just living out of their paychecks. Life is not easy in Hawaii. Kiko McClellan, a lobbyist for the American Hotel and Lodging Association, insists these vacation rentals are devastating for the local population. Hundreds of residents, people who actually live here and not simply own an extra home or an extra handful of homes, but permanent residents from all walks of life who are being priced out of their very homes and pushed out of their communities. The measure increases the minimum length of stay for a short-term vacation rental from the current 30 days to 90. The bill keeps the initial registration fee at $1,000 and reduces renewal fees to $500 a year instead of the current $2,000. The proposal also allows for new permits only in resort districts such as Waikiki. Councilmember Andre Tupola cast the only no vote. The bill now goes to Mayor Rick Blangiardi, who's previously indicated his strong support for the measure. Reporting live, Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News. Kristen,